So we just need a set of headphones for for our man and for Dory. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. I, got, I think we'll probably use that set for the piano. That's maybe. perfect. Get another one in. Have to run. Can you run them from? We, yeah, we've got a um, we've got this one. Oh, okay. You've got to your oh, perfect. Okay. Good. Just Dave Kersner here with Dory Jackson in that room over there. We put her in this room at the farm. It's not normally a room uh, that's recorded in too much. It's, it's more of a mixing, mastering, or I don't know, like a storage room, I guess, as well. Uh, but for isolation, uh, we're working on Great Gig in the Sky and um, <clears throat> a Pink Floyd song and live piano and vocal. Uh, Hello, Dory. How are you feeling after uh, hours of sampling oohs and ahs? Sick. Yeah. Was it difficult to do? It feels like you're at the, like the doctor's or something. <laughs> it actually does. Well, say ah. Yeah. In every note, though. <laughs> yeah, they never yeah, ask so. you to do that. Yeah, and how many notes have you got? <laughs> cool. It's cruel. All right. But I reckon it'll sound good when it's done. Definitely. I'm assured. I'm assured. Yes. back at the farm and uh, we're going to check out um, <clears throat> the Genesis graveyard, see if it's still there or what's growing. Oh, it's now a car, oh no, it's still a bit of, well, yeah, it's transformed into less of a graveyard, more of a regular rem remnants of graveyardness, and more of a car parking thing. And I think I just stepped in. I don't even know what. There we go. The all the piano is gone. A few cases are left, and that's about it. Genesis graveyard. We visited two. So the loop that we hear at the beginning of Mama is essentially Phil's samples that were put into this movement computer. Ah, no, that is the first Lindrum. Oh, okay. That is a Lindrum one. Okay. So that um, was used Because they had tuning on every single drum. Right. And so that, that, is, that is definitely the Lindrum, um, the, the Mark one Lindrum. Mm -hmm, right. And in, played into the live room through a set of big speakers Oh. Back into the control room through a AMS reboot. Cool. Non lean. Uh, we're here at the farm, Genesis Studio, and this is Tony Banks, one of Tony Banks' art pro soloists. Um, this is the lead synth that was used on albums like uh, Selling England by the Pound and um, The Lamb Was Down on Broadway, Trick of the Tail, Wind and Wuthering. Um, it's actually a preset synth. Um, so a lot of the, the sounds that you get from it, um, uh, or the sounds that you, you hear on those records were actually presets. 
uh, like this one here, this last one, the fuzz guitar, um, that's a very popular lead synth you hear on like in the cage and everything. Um, it's an analog synth and it has um, some of the same filters that are in the ARP 2600, um, which Tony also used. Um, and, uh, and actually, uh, Dale, uh, <laughs> Uh, Newman's here. The guy making um, the faces behind the camera. And uh, actually, Dale, if I can ask you if, you if you know, what's the story with? Um, I noticed that the serial numbers, like 0001 on the ARP 2600 Rev 3, how, how do you know how that uh, was he like one of the first people to get that revision or something? I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was the first person to get that revision. That's why. It's not the first one, it's the first one of the second run. Right. You probably know that. Yeah. Cool. Dave, if you take a picture of me like this, I could get a deal with mono case. <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually got three bases. <laughs> Where are we going? Bringing in <laughs> Colin's bases. Cover the bases. At the farm. Whoops, hold on, let me get that. Cameraman and doorman. <laughs> Davis, how are you holding up? Yeah, yeah, good. All fine. 